Taking a toll on Home Depot's Home Depot. Home Depot. Home Depot's Home Depot shares are in the spotlight today following its latest earnings report and shares do remain in negative territory. Home Depot, the once undisputed king of home improvement retail, has seen its dominance challenged in recent years. Once celebrated for its extensive product range, knowledgeable staff, and customer-centric approach, the world's largest home improvement retailer now finds itself facing criticism for various missteps. From its rise to fame to its fall from grace, the key challenges the company had to face and the impact of high mortgage rates and inflation on its customers will be revealed in this video. But what exactly happened? Stay tuned to find out. The story of Home Depot, thanks to Bernie Marcus and Arthur Blank's vision, is one filled with highs and lows, failures and victories, and the ultimate triumph over adversity. Long before the story of the Home Depot empire began, Bernie Marcus and Arthur Blank found themselves working together at Handy Dan, a home improvement store. Their collaboration took Handy Dan from a small chain of six stores to a whopping 80 in just six years. Later on in the late 1970s, things took a dramatic turn when Sanford Sigiloff took control of Dalen, Handy Dan's parent company, to rescue it from bankruptcy. His strategy included letting go of senior management. Despite Handy Dan's impressive profitability, he chose to fire Marcus and Blank. However, instead of going down a legal battle path with Handy Dan, they both chose to let go and create their destiny. They decided to open their home improvement store, a dream so simple yet groundbreaking offering sales at low prices with a vast selection of products and top-notch customer service, all with a capital of $400,000. This allowed them to stock up their shelves with 18,000 items. Then, they personally trained their staff and opened two stores in Atlanta in 1979. On the day of their grand opening, Marcus and Blank created a heartwarming surprise for their customers by handing out $1 bills as tokens of gratitude. This sole act created a chain reaction that worked together to later on shoot their business into the top five most recommended and demanded businesses globally. In 1981, Home Depot expanded into Miami with a total of four new locations. That same year, they took a significant step by going public on NASDAQ, raising over $4 million. This infusion of capital boosted investments and profits while the initial sales projection per store was set at $9 million, the reality exceeded expectations, with each store making over $17 million. With such amassed wealth and success, their business was at its pinnacle, and their dreams were being achieved, however, not all good things that last come easily. The 2008 financial crisis and the consequent housing market collapse had a significant impact on the home improvement industry, Fewer people were buying and renovating their homes, which adversely affected Home Depot's sales and profitability. The inventory and supply chain stockouts led to poor in-store availability of products, which in turn affected customer satisfaction and sales. With mortgage rates rising, homeowners were forced to bear additional costs, which limited how much they could afford in a market that was already out of reach. The rising rates also discouraged homeowners who had locked in rates two or three years ago from selling their homes. The sales at the stores showed a key indicator of the retailer's market health. This lack of demand in the market affected traditional home movers and big spenders as the mortgage rate rose to its highest level in 10 weeks, with an average 30-year mortgage rate of 6.8%. Moreover, when mortgage rates rise, it can add hundreds of dollars a month in costs for homeowners. Home Depot experienced a decline in its fourth quarter sales. Sales fell from $35.8 billion in the previous year to $34.8 billion due to consumers cutting back on home improvement projects. It doesn't sound like a lot, but trust me, that's a loss of a billion dollars right there. The pandemic had initially boosted this sector, For the pandemic, so but the trend came to a sudden halt. In our own cases, in terms of our golf business, our PGA Tour superstores, our, our golf business has been incredible this year. Uh, people are still coming in for golf fittings and lessons and, and, and apparel and whatever else, and, and they love being out, outside and playing the games. 
The change in the tide for Home Depot comes after a long period where it was among a few big winners during the pandemic. Spending on homes became a priority for families as many Americans suddenly found themselves living, working, and studying from home. But just as people have returned to some semblance of a post-pandemic life, for Home Depot, it's been less of a celebration. The money that was perhaps previously earmarked for spending or fixing and beautifying the home is now being spent more freely on eating out, traveling, shopping, and other indulgences. As a result, the company's business earnings from both its DIY customers and professional contractors in the quarter was less than expected, as consumers continued to take on smaller home improvement projects. In addition, higher interest rates and inflation began taking a toll. The size of the projects keeps getting a bit smaller, and it could be that the projects are being deferred or the project is being broken up into chunks. So, rather than do an entire room or an entire basement, you start working on it in smaller chunks, and that clearly impacts items per basket and overall activity. Home Depot's slowing sales pace became somewhat worrying as it reflected an underlying softness due to some factors that kept creeping into the economy, slowing down activities in the housing market as higher interest rates deterred some homeowners from either refinancing to move or taking out mortgages for their first homes could have a chilling knock-on effect to the home improvement category. The second factor is the general deterioration in spending, even among those who are not moving. The number of households undertaking projects continue to decline as people rein back discretionary spending and put off big remodels which sometimes require financing. This saw a continuation of the trend as observed in the fourth quarter, with consumers pulling back on big tickets and some discretionary types of purchases. Obviously, people aren't spending all their time at home as they did in the prior few years. Although Home Depot's success can be attributed to a combination of different key factors, there is something that nobody expected. Home Depot has become a hot spot for a new dating trend. Today's dating scene is just brutal. Don't we all know that? But maybe a new dating trend can help inspire some to get back out there. Apparently, there's this whole subgenre of social media videos, especially on TikTok, that help people pick up other people at Home Depot. Some women have ditched dating apps and instead visit Home Depot stores searching for their ideal partners, vying for a chance to meet an eligible bachelor among the aisles of hardwood, screwdrivers, and nails. The women of TikTok have discovered the perfect spot to window shop for single men. While the dating strategy gives some people hope they'll find a soulmate, some business analysts deem it unfit for a better customer service delivery, hence creating more seismic activities that will further downplay the intending rebound of Home Depot's success. Do you, do you have multiple people that we're entertaining tomorrow on no, Valentine's no, no, Day? No, 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 just my kids. Oh, I love yeah. that. I was going to say, if I had a nickel for every time I found somebody as handsome as you, oh. I'd only have five cents. Oh. Because you're the cutest. Oh. That's it for today's video. What are your thoughts? Let us know in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, hit the subscribe button, and turn on the post notification so you won't miss more of this video. Your support helps us reach more people with our content. Thanks for watching.